Friday night and I'm going nowhere All the lights are changing green to red Turning over TV stations Situations running through my head Looking back through time You know it's clear that I've been blind I've been a fool To open up my heart to all that jealousy, that bitterness, that ridicule And if you want it, come and get it, crying out loud The love that I was, giving you was, never in doubt Let go of your Hey, Drew James here from LearnGuitarInLondon.com and I'm playing Babylon by David Gray. I actually did a David Gray lesson, Sail Away, uh, about a year ago now. And uh, a few people have said, go on, do Babylon, do Babylon. Well, um, I actually ended up teaching it to a Skype student not too long ago. So thank you, Robin, for making me learn this. And I've really, really enjoyed it. Uh, so I've decided to make a video lesson for it. Um, it's... We're going to be using a version that David has done uh, for a YouTube video. So there's actually a link right now in this video, um, and I'll put it in the video description, where you can follow along. So the original itself doesn't have a capo on the first fret. So without further ado, let's have a look and learn how to play it. To play the song, you're going to need to tune your thinnest string, your E, down um, to the note of D. So that means going through the musical alphabet until down until you get to D, which means loosening the string. I'm going to be showing you how to do that in just a second. Um, however, if you can do that and you know how to play the chords A, E minor, D suspended second and G, then I've included a link in the video now where you can skip to to start learning the song. Okay. However, if you can't, I'm about to show you how to do those things. So to tune this string, what I want you to do is we're going to use our ears for this. You can use an electronic tuner, but just make sure that when you're looking at the electronic tuner, you're not tuning it to the letter E. Make sure the letter D is appearing and then you're getting the green light, okay? But I'm going to be showing you also how to do it with your ears. So if you hold down the third fret on the B string and play that, that's a D. Um, well, not technically with a capo, but it would be without the capo. Now what we're doing is we're loosening the thinnest string until these two notes, this one here and the bottom string, sound the same. Don't sound the same at the moment. See, that sounds pretty awful. Still sounds awful, so just keep loosening. And trust your ears. Sounding better, isn't it? Now they're sounding pretty identical. There we go. So um, that's how you do that. Uh, the chords you're going to need, you're going to need uh, a few. So you're going to need this for the start of the riff. Um, put your index finger on the second fret on the G string and middle finger on the second fret on the B string and strum for that chord the bottom five. Okay, it sounds like a suspended something or other. <laughs> I don't know at the moment. Okay, the next one we're going to need is a G. Now it's not quite a G as you know it. So put your index finger on the first fret on the A string, middle finger on the third fret on the E string, and pinky ring finger on the third fret on the B string and strum bottom five. And you can include the bottom string because they're the same note, as you now know. Um, the other chords you're going to need. So you're going to need a D suspended second, which means Leave the ring finger there on the third fret on the B string. Put your index finger on the second fret on the G and strum the bottom four. The other chord is a good old A. So to play an A, take your pinky finger, put it on the second fret on the B. Uh, by the way, this is all in relation to the capo when I'm talking about fret. So this is fret one, fret two. Uh, second fret on the G with the ring, with, and then with the middle finger, second fret on the D and strum the bottom five. 
okay? An E minor, nice simple change, lift up the pinky, put this little wadge of fingers up here. So you're on the A string on the second fret and the D string on the second fret, strum all six. And that's all you're gonna need. It's now time to start learning that intro riff. So here's how you play that main riff. Okay, so what we're doing is we're starting, we're putting our index and middle finger on the second fret on the G and the B string. And for that chord, we're gonna strum the bottom five. Now I'm gonna show you the rhythm pattern uh, that we use in that, because that's quite important. Once you get the rhythm pattern, you can then start adding in these hammer-ons and pull-offs and little ad-libs, right? So the rhythm pattern is what I call the chill-out rhythm. That's down, down, up, miss, up, down, up, down, down, up, miss, up. So we do one for this, down, up, miss, then change to G. Now when you're doing a G, um, just ring finger here, you don't need the bottom string. In fact, the bottom string, because you're tuning the string, you've tuned the string down, won't sound great. So leave the ring finger there, and do the same rhythm pattern for that. So that's the basic rhythm pattern. Hope you've got that. Now all we need to do is start adding in the ad-libs, okay? So here's what he does to start with. He goes down, down, up, and then on that up, he hammers to the third fret on the B string, and then he flicks away like this. I'm doing that from my hammer on. Now it's important that you leave this index and middle finger held down because this is hammering on and then flicking off to that finger. That finger has to be held down that second fret. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. Down, down, up, flick, hammer. Then on that miss, we're then gonna come up and then on the down, the next one, we're gonna hammer and leave it there. So, so far we have Okay, hopefully you've got that, hammer and leave it there. And then you're just finishing with an upstroke to finish the rhythm pattern, so it's. Okay. And then once that finger's there, leave it there and go to your G. Now with this G, it's all gravy. So we're gonna go down, down, and then on that up, we're gonna be putting the little finger down on the fourth fret on the G string, okay? So it goes. That's down, down, pinky down, up, down, up. And that's all the ad libs that I could see that David does in that particular performance. And that's putting the two together. Following on to David's performance with the link that I've sent you, he does just do this between verse one and verse two. Now in my performance at the beginning, I went from verse one straight into the chorus, like the single does, or the radio edit of the song. But this is what he does in that video. So to open up my heart to all the jealousy, that bitterness, that ridicule. So what he does there is after the G, he goes third fret on the thickest string, second fret on the thickest string, and then open and strumming an E minor seven. That's just index finger on the second fret on the A string. So, so from the G it's, and then he holds that one, two, three, four, one, two, then back into our riff. Okay, so you're all good there. And then your chorus, which is the last part of the song that you're going to need, is a D suspended second. And I'm changing the rhythm slightly on this one. Um, so we're gonna go down, down, up, down, up, down, up. One, two, and three, and four, and I'll do it slowly. Okay, let's do the order of chords then. So D suspended second, which is a regular D, but without the middle finger. A chord. E minor chord, A chord. Repeat that order of chords. D suspended second, A, E minor, then 
then G. So it's not quite the same order, it goes to a G at the end, not an A, okay? So let's do that again, so... D suspended A, come and get it, E minor, crying out A. D, the love that I am, giving you E minor, is never in G. Let's keep going, D suspended. Go and your A. Let go of your E minor and feel A now. So that's the same as before. Let go of your heart, A. Let go of your E minor and feel A now. Babylon, back to the riff. Babylon, riff again. He then does a verse two, which is the same riff. You'll easily follow that along to the record if you've got the hang of that riff. Um, and then he does another chorus. And um, he does the chorus twice at the end. Nice and simple, just following that order of chords. Um, just to go through those order of chords in the chorus again, it's D, A, E minor, A. Then D, A, E minor, and G on the word doubt. And then D, suspended second, A, sorry, it has always been a D suspended second, A, E minor, and then A, let go of your, and then D suspended, let go of your A, then E minor, feel A now, Babylon. And then the ending, Babylon. So we're just finishing on the end there on the first chord that we started on strumming the bottom five. Thanks so much for watching this lesson. This was brought to you by brightonguitars.co.uk. Um, I upload two new video lessons every week to my YouTube channel, so uh, please click subscribe. Uh, if you do like David Gray, then I've also included a link uh, right now in the video to watch my Sail Away video that I've made of his as well. Uh, I upload two new videos every week to this YouTube channel, so please click subscribe. It would be good to have you for some more acoustic lessons. Keep on playing and have a great day. Mm -hmm.